Hey everyone, welcome back. I am the Electrical Code Coach from electricalexamcoach.com and this is lesson 4.3 in our video series. And today we're going to be tying all these pieces together that we've been learning about the whole home load calculation. We're going to learn how to take our general, our fixed appliances, our dryer, our range, our HVAC and turn it into our whole home demand. Let's get to it. What is the total VA demand you would calculate for a 1,600 square foot home with the following loads? Now, I know this looks daunting, but we're just going to take it one piece at a time. You've worked very hard up until this point, and I know you can do it. I want us to get used to laying out all of our calculations like this. On our piece of paper, write general, fixed appliances, dryers, ranges, and HVAC, and we're going to fill them in one at a time. Step one is to find our general lighting and receptacle loads. We're going to first find our total connected load. We take our 1600 square foot multiplied by three. That gives us 4,800 square foot VAs. Now we add on our two small appliances and one laundry circuit, which is 4,500. That gives us this total connected load of 9,300. Now we check for demand factors. Step one, we're going to take the first 3,000 at 100%. We're going to take that remainder at 35%. Then we take the two and total them back together. And we're going to put that over here on the right hand side. Every time I want you to write it out just like this, add in each load, total them up, and you'll be on your way to doing the whole house. Let's get to it. Now let's do our fixed appliances. We have a garbage disposal, dishwasher, and water heater. Find the total connected load. We total them all up and it equals 5,500. Now we check for demand factors. There are only three appliances, so the four or more 75% rule does not apply, and we write down 5,500. Now we deal with our dryer in the same way. We find our total connected load. We know that it's 5,000 minimum or the nameplate, whichever is larger. Now let's check for demand factors. When we get to table 220.54, we find that one through four dryers are calculated at 100%, and we put down 5,000. Now our range. First thing we're going to ask is what column does our individual range fall in? Well, this one falls into column C and column C is a replacement value. Let's find our total connected load. We start on the left hand side of the table. We find our number of ranges and then we cross over to column C and it's 8,000. Now we check for demand factors. There are no demand factors on column C because it is a replacement value and we write down 8,000. Great job. Now for our HVAC VAs, we're going to take the larger of the heating or cooling. First find our total connected load. Our heating is 10,000 and our cooling is our amps multiplied by our volts, which equals 4320. Now we check for demand factors. There are no demand factors on this portion, so we're just going to select the larger of the two and we're going to put down 10,000. Now all we have to do is total it all together. Now all we have to do is total all of our loads. Make sure that you push the equals button in between each addition. And the reason is sometimes when you add a bunch of numbers without clearing it out, it will mess up inside the calculator. So I'm going to do mine like this, 5205 plus 5500, and then I'll hit the equals button. And then I'll do plus 5000, plus 8000, plus 10,000, pushing the equals button in between each time just to make sure I end up with the right answer. Then I'm always going to double check my answer on these large calculations and make sure that I get the same number twice. We end up with 33705 and we select A.